In this video, we're gonna go over one of the simplest ways to accomplish at-home grooming with your dog. You will need some supplies, so we need some treats, whatever kind of brush you're gonna use for your dog, and your nail clippers, which I won't actually use, or a Dremel, which is what I do use to do my dog's toes. I also have a lick mat, which is what I'm gonna use for Mango. I have one pre-made with some peanut butter spread on it for him. So now that I have all my supplies, I am gonna grab his lick mat with some peanut butter and start on his toes. So my goal is to keep him licking that peanut butter while I accomplish what I need to do as far as grooming goes. While he's licking away, I'm simply dremeling all his toes, starting at the back, which is a bit less sensitive than the front toes, quickly working my way around. If at any point he does stop licking the peanut butter, I would simply stop doing his toes or brushing him or bathing him, whatever I am doing at that point. Once I've finished his back toes, I move up to his front toes. You also notice how I am picking up his feet kind of backwards um, and not picking them up too far where he's losing balance. I'm always acting as a support for him as well. Again, you can't see his face, but he is still licking that peanut butter. And I tried to be slick and go underneath him for his last foot, but that didn't work, so I had to switch sides. Again, still licking away as his peanut butter as I do all his toes. There he pulled away and stopped licking, so I simply stopped until he went back to licking his peanut butter, and then I continued with his toes. All finished with his toenail trim, and that took all of about a minute or so. Nice, quick, easy, he didn't even seem to notice. Now we'll move on to brushing, so same kind of concept. He's busy licking on his lick mat while I go ahead and brush him, starting at the least sensitive area, so that's gonna be his back and his rump, and then I will work my way down his legs, which are a bit more sensitive on his sides, and then up towards his head. This is a quick brush. I would make sure you're going through really nicely and really brushing your dog everywhere. But for this video, we're just doing it quickly. And I tend to start with a brush that's gonna kind of loosen everything up, get out some of that extra undercoat, and then use a brush to slick him out. Again, if at any point he had stopped licking the peanut butter, like he did there a little bit, I would just stop brushing or move to a less sensitive area for him. Whenever your dog stops eating, it's good information for you that they're a bit uncomfortable. And with grooming, we want them to enjoy it so it becomes an easy task for you. This lick mat is one I would use in the tub. So it does stick onto the tub wall and he would just lick his peanut butter while he's standing there and I can give him a full bath very quickly. Another option if you don't have a lick mat is using a handful of treats. And you would simply just put that in front of your dog's face and let them nibble, slowly releasing the treats, not giving them a whole handful at once while you work away. Again, if at any point he would have stopped eating out of my hand, I would just simply stop my nail trim, my brushing, my bathing, whatever it is I'm doing. 